Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Kate Loeb and I'm a part of the teen ministry at Mainland Baptist Church. And the title for today's devotional is Ignoring the Need. And the scripture for today's devotional can be found in Mark 2, 15 through 17. And it came to pass that as Jesus sat at meat in his house, many publicans and sinners sat also together with Jesus and his disciples. For there were many and they followed him. And when the scribes and Pharisees saw him eat with the publicans and sinners, they said unto his disciples, How is it that he eateth and drinketh with publicans and sinners? When Jesus heard it, he saith unto them, They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. The Pharisees in Jesus' day were utterly devoted to the outward observance of forms and traditions which they had added onto the commandments God had given to his people. Their outward and ostentatious righteousness was not matched with inward holiness. Jesus said, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Matthew twenty three twenty seven. It was their very dependence on their own works and their self-satisfied through unearned sense of righteousness that prompted them to ignore Jesus and his calls to repentance. They did not view themselves as being in need of anything and viewed the work Jesus did to reach out to those who sin were obvious on the outside rather than hidden within as a disqualifying mark on his character. In truth, they needed salvation and grace as much as those they condemned. God was not impressed by their hypocritical works, but they ignored their need for him in believing that they had all they needed. Many times we ignore a warning from God either in the Bible, in preaching, or in conversation with friends because we have convinced ourselves that we are fine just as we are. Yet God who sees our hearts knows how desperately we need his cleansing. Today's growth principle is a proper response to God's word does not begin with applying it to others but to ourselves. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you would be with all um, of the viewers on today's Renew, Lord, that they would get something from this devotional and from the devotionals that follow this week. I pray that you would um, just be with them throughout their week, that they would um, just continue to seek you and to grow within you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you and join us again tomorrow for another Renew.